Alright, so oops are completed and yeah, the armor looks nice and shiny now. Um, I think we should add um, quite a bit of weathering. Not like a total weathered uh, neural marine, but uh, just uh, a bit here, a bit more on the lower side of the model. And um, just to add that extra bit of, uh, of life. Um, I've added some two brown tones to the palette. One is uh, called uh, Dryad Bark. I think and we'll mix that with a bit of black and we'll start painting in uh, little scratches so you can look for um, parts in your blending that are not perfect in that stage Example here, we will add a scratch there. Um, it's not that visible because our base color is quite dark, but uh, it will be uh, a little bit easier to see here in the in the highlight areas. So I'm just adding little dots and lines indicating scratches, and especially here on the on the edges. Okay. Um, let me just add some highlights underneath so we can see them a bit better. a little bit hard for the camera to pick that up I think but I think it's uh, it's visible. it's just to add that little bit of uh, texture and also a little bit of uh, have a storytelling element because you don't want that marine to look like he's uh, just directly out of the fabrication hall now are there any other ways you could approach layering like this for example taking a sponge or something like that and dabbing it yeah, if you want to go for a, like a stronger weathered look, you can also do that with a sponge or um, just dabbing on the, the dark paint and then pinning some highlights on afterwards. Mm -hmm. um, here, because we don't want the, the marine to be too weathered, uh, I decided to do it with a brush. Um, I prefer that because it's a lot more controlled, um, but a sponge could be one solution or you could also... Um, do it for, for example, with a liquid mask mm -hmm. and dab that on, then paint over it and, and pull it off. Is it important as well to think about the material that you're actually trying to represent based on, on how you do the chipping? So, for example, some I've seen some effects where you, you paint the, the uh, black chips and black scratches, then put uh, metallic paint over the top. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or it's also interesting sometimes to... to Try to achieve like a multi-layered uh, look with like different uh, kind of varnishes over another. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, think about the material you want to to recreate and uh, choose choose a look that's fitting. Make also sure that the highlights, for example, here in the shadow areas are not uh, too bright and not like the ones I've painted on that side, for example, because they're in the highlight. Mm -hmm. These here in the inside are quite a bit darker. So here on the tip of the shoe, you can also add a bit more, select so like light random dots next to the scratch to indicate finer scratches and a more beaten material. Okay, also areas like the, the knee pads are always good to play a little with weathering.
Okay, up here I just want to, to have like minimal weathering, so just a few, one or two small scratches. I think like that it's it's quite nice. It's not overdone, but it just adds that tiny bit of uh, also texture feel to the to the model. I think it's quite nice if you see those two legs in comparison. This here looks also a bit kind of HD because you see more details. So uh, we'll just um, do scratches all all over the model in the in the very same way. Um, but I think one thing I'd like to to show you. I imagine him later on st standing on a um, like Mars pattern um, base, so it's so orange brown. Added some scrap brown to the palette. So, um, could you pronounce that one more time? I think it's scrap. Scrap. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the the new names are are a bit funky. So, this uh, it's like an orange brown, a bit like the the old Burman brown. And I will use that to. You could do that step here also with um, with pigments, for example. But I prefer using uh, mostly acrylics for for effects like that because um, pigments are quite nice from the look, but it's really hard to to uh, go on and uh, work with acrylics over over them again. So um, because they're really hard to to make them stay on the surface and a bit like we've done on the. Um, with the OSL, we will just glaze in a bit of that scrap brown here to the lower part of the the armor to get like a bit of dust look on there. It's quite good to do that after you've done the the little scratches, so the scratches just shine through the through the dust. It's quite important that you do that here with a color that is um, not more satin than the, the color you used before, otherwise that looks a bit uh, wet and especially to get that uh, dust atmosphere it's really good to, to rather go for a, a flat matte drying color. It's it's really nice to see the difference uh, now with the two the two legs. Um, I think I will uh, would just keep the uh, the orange brown here to the lower edge of the the leg. I wouldn't do any any on the upper parts. Um, I think I would just uh, continue like that with the little scratches and the dust here on that leg, and we'll be back once that is done. Awesome.